Amongst the questions that have been asked are those that poses to you. What is your relationship with life now? And where are we? What is this place that lies beyond the three levels of mind, embracing them, but abiding in a state that is beyond them. And there's an old story that is told that seeing in the light of this moment might bring the ability to be able to express the answers to these questions, the one answer to these questions. It's the story about that time long ago when the shoguns of Japan ruled and uh, because of their fierceness they were often given gifts by the emperors, sultans, kings of other realms. So there was an occasion when the shogun of Japan was given as a gift a great Bengal tiger. Now the shogun of Japan was greatly pleased with this gift, this sleek feline, beautiful in its movements, fierce. So whenever the shogun would have a reception, he would take his guests out to the enclosure to view this magnificent beast. Now on one of these occasions, amongst his guests was the great samurai swordsman, Lord Yagyu. Now Lord Yagyu was not just the most famous swordsman in the land, but he was also master of his own school of swordsmanship. And another was Master Takyuan Soho, the abbot of a famous Zen monastery. Now, as they stood outside the enclosure, viewing the magnificent tiger pacing backwards and forwards, the Shogun turned to Lord Yagyu and said, I believe that in your school of swordsmanship you teach that we must move beyond the fear of life and death. And in this place we become able to face any adversary and vanquish without the use of a sword. Yes, said Lord Yagyu. So the Shogun said, please, would you give us a demonstration of this? Now, of course, Lord Yagyu had no choice. Not only was this an order of the Shogun, which was not to be disobeyed, but his honor was at stake and the honor of his school. So marching resolutely to the opening of the enclosure, when it was, the gate was opened, he walked in, eyeballing the great beast as it paced back and forth, watching its every move as his eyes were fixed on the eyes of this great animal. He approached the tiger resolutely so that the tiger was forced to back, back until it came to the fence of the enclosure. Now Lord Yagyu, with his abilities, read every nuance of the tiger 
and knew exactly the moment it was about to strike him. And at that very moment he took from his belt his iron fan and whacked the tiger between the eyes, causing it to become so discombobulated, to use that word, and this enabled Lord Yagyu to back out of the enclosure. Now the Shogun, who had the Zen Master Takyuan standing beside him, turned to the great Zen Master and said, What an amazing display of the power of mind! And Great Master took you and said, oh, 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 it was all right. And the Shogun, rather taken aback by this, turned to the Great Master Takyuan and said, well, I believe that in your school you also teach one to go beyond the fear of life and death. Yes, said the Master Takyuan. And although Master Takyuan had himself never studied the martial arts, he had many swordsmen amongst his students, including Lord Yagyu himself. So he knew the ways and the similarities, the parallels between the way of the sword and the way of Zen. So he said to the Shogun, Yes, there is a difference. In the way of the sword, one is taught to become fearless of life and death, and to vanquish an adversary, even without using a sword. But in the way of Zen, we are brought to a place where we acknowledge, embrace, and evoke the Buddha nature in all things. And with that, Master Takyuan spat in his hands rubbing them together, and approached the gate of the enclosure. When the gate was opened, Master Takyuan entered the enclosure. But instead of eyeballing the tiger, even though his gaze was fixed on the great beast, it seemed to encompass not only the animal, but the enclosure and all that surrounded it. And his gaze was as though he were looking at a beautiful flower. He stood and as the great animal approached him, he held out his hand. The tiger sniffed his hand and allowed the master to scratch behind its ears and then it rolled over to allow him to do so to its great belly purring like an enormous kitten. When Master Takuan Soho left the enclosure to find all who were present, their mouths agape in wonder, the Shogun asked Master Takuan, How did you do that? So, the question that can be asked, which may be evocative to us, 
to express this place. This place beyond the levels of mind bring us to a state where our relationship with life has changed. What would be your answer to the Shogun's question? How did you, how do you do this? What would be your answer to the Shogun? So meeting the tiger in, in that label that unites all of life. That you can call love or oneness or mm -hmm. universal right. intelligence. Or right. Call it respect. Pardon? Respect. Respect and honor and acknowledgement, yes. So would you say that they come in that order? What is our state of being in this place? For the Zen master Takyuan, it was acknowledgement, embracing and evoking. This is the way of Zen, what is our way? When you wake up in the morning, what is your thought about life? no longer entering an arena as we find with most of the media speaking of this arena and that arena, adversarial and gladiatorial as though life was to be conquered. We've been there too, no doubt. But how do we face life in the onset of the days now or going out of our house out into the city or social engagement where do you rest? This place that's permanently open for whatever Do that, do this, right. Exactly. Absolutely so, yes. Yes, 
been a few incidences with <coughs> elephants tremble to death, people who were going to shoot them in smashed cars. So the energy can work the other way as well. Certainly. So we know that in the relationship. Yeah. Uh, the samurai won overpower the tiger through his psychic means. Yes. But <coughs> the same master just embraced it and was approaching in a level of oneness. Yes. Yes. So it does enable us to answer that question, what is our relationship with life now? It's very clear, isn't it? We're no longer combatants. We're no I'm longer... Accepting. We're accepting. accepting, yes. And receptive mm -hmm. to live, open. Mm -hmm. 